Today we're going to be working on plaster guy with a tin foil armature. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself set up with some strips of plaster gauze. These strips are, that I'm cutting are about half an inch thick and then you're going to want some smaller pieces for when you get to do your details. Um, you're going to need some water, you're going to need a piece of tin foil. On the tin foil you're going to draw three lines, one from the top to the middle and two from the bottom to the middle. It's going to look like a block letter M when you're finished. Or if you hold it upside down it's going to look like a block letter W. So go ahead and cut on those lines with your scissors and then slowly, slowly you're going to start to sort of pinch each of those pieces of tin foil, working your way around slowly until you're going to have a star shape. One point of the star is going to end up being your head, two are going to end up being your legs, and two are going to end up being your arms. It takes a little while to get your shape worked out. Don't forget that it's a person, so you want to bend it at the feet, your legs have knees, your arms have elbows. Keep working on your head until you get it nice and round. I'm thinking that my little sculpture here is going to be modeled after Rodin's The Thinker. So I'm going to need to bend his knees like he's sitting on something. I'm going to need to bend his elbow so that his hand can hold up his head. Then once you have your form worked out, you can start adding your plaster gauze. You're going to take a strip, dip it in water, and just pick a point to start wrapping. I usually start wrapping at the head. Then I'm going to work my way down to the arms and then finally to the legs. Try to remember that plaster sticks to plaster, it doesn't stick to tin foil very well. So whatever piece you're working on should be right next to whatever piece you just finished. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can speed this up a little bit for you. Now that I've got my little guy pretty well covered in plaster, I want to start thinking about details. The nice thing about plaster gauze is that it works a lot like clay. You can take a piece, get it wet, and smush it up just to mold something. So I decided that instead of mine being a man that's thinking, I'm going to make it a cat. So here I am, I've got a couple little pieces of plaster gauze that I've smushed into two little triangles for his ears. I'm going to use another piece to add a little bit of a snout so he's got more of the, the cat shaped head. After I get his face done, I need a tail. So same thing, I'm going to take a couple pieces of gauze, smush them up in the water, pretend that they're a piece of clay until I get them in the shape that I want, and I'm going to add it to the back of my cat. So I'm having a little trouble getting my tail to stick the way that I want it to. It could be because the plaster started to harden on the back of my cat. Um, so one thing that you can do if this happens to you is you can cut off a little piece of plaster as if it's a piece of tape. I'm just going to use that teeny tiny piece and see if I can use it to tape my tail on and hold it in place where I want it. All right, so there's my cat. He's sitting, he's thinking, but he has nothing to sit on. So I'm gonna grab another piece of tin foil and roll it up into a ball. I'm gonna give him a little rock to sit on. So once I've got my tin foil ball the right size, same thing, just grab some of those pieces of plaster. This time I can use pieces that are a little bit larger because I'm not so worried about details. And I'm just gonna wrap it with that plaster gauze um, rub it in, make sure you're filling in all those little holes, especially now if you start working with some bigger pieces. And my cat's going to have a nice little rock to sit on and think about what he's going to do this afternoon. Maybe he should go fishing. What do you think? <laughs>